What's up YouTube, DJ Star here. Today we're gonna to be working on a 2500 HD by Chevy. It's got a 6.6 .6 LB7 motor in this one. Now most of these diesel motors are gonna be very similar. Uh, what we're gonna be going over specifically is the glow plugs, glow straps, and all of that jazz. Um, it's a pretty simple, straightforward job. Um, everything should be done with a seven millimeter, eight millimeter, and a 12 millimeter deep well socket and a ratchet with an extension. This should be all you need. And some anti-seize of course, because steel glow plugs going to want to put anti-seize on a steel glow plug going into an aluminum block so it doesn't seize. Now um, said truck it's a nice 4x4 diesel working on it for a buddy of mine in the core. So first thing is first you're going to remove the inner fender liner on both sides it's just easier to get to um, there's going to be a turbo pipe that I think you might have to move. I can't remember. Um, what I'm doing on this truck specifically is injectors. So I'm waiting on the valve cover to get back so I can go ahead and put it back on. But we went ahead and did the glow plugs, glow straps, and everything else. Um, so you remove, and I think these are seven millimeters on the um, inside and eight millimeters on the outside from the factory. But you're gonna remove that, take the strap off here. There's a connector, a grounding. You wanna make sure that you connect that back there's one on this side there's two on the other um, and then you use a 12 millimeter to remove it so it's very simple now specifically what I've seen on the internet is a lot of people don't know how to remove number four because there's a steering shaft in the way the steering shaft is very simple it's gonna take two 15 wrenches now I prefer to use ratcheting wrenches from Harbor Freight because if it says Pittsburgh it's lifetime warranty you can take it back so it's not the greatest tool, but the fact that I can get a new one each time it ever breaks, which I haven't had any break yet, is great. Um, so what you're going to do is, uh, first things first, as the truck sits, you're going to tie off the steering wheel. So mine was in a position where it actually had a good vantage point, and I decided to tie it up because it doesn't have a lot of pressure uh, using the visor. You can also use a steering wheel. I don't prefer it. Uh, or I mean, the... Um, seat belt. I don't prefer it just because I want it to be straight and not have to worry about it moving at all. So once it's tied off, come over here, assuming that you've already removed your inner fender liner, um, you're going to take your 15, you're going to have one on the top, one on the bottom. And what I discovered is the bolt, it's easier for it to come off the top. So I put my ratcheting one on the top, stationary one on the bottom, and removed it. Once it is removed, you'll see there is a connector. There's two parts. So on this line here, it might be kind of stuck. You might have to wiggle it a little bit to get it out, but you'll notice it slides up. And once you get it up high enough, you'll see it just drops. And then you can get to that number four. Which again, I said is going to be a 12 millimeter to remove it, deep well socket, and a 7 or an 8, depending on where it's at in the motor. At least mine was that way. I don't know who had the truck before, so they could have done it differently. But um, just to be prepared, you know, have it handy. Anyways, hope this helps you guys. Later, YouTube.